Okay, so I um, have this 3120 XP right here that I am messing with. And I want to actually uh, compare the highway cylinder uh, to the, the stock cylinder that I am replacing. So um, I needed to get my, my uh, timing wheel set up so that I can see where the timing lines up on both cylinders and um, go from there and then port and polish a little bit, you know. I'm not going to go real deep. It's a big saw. It's got a lot of power and I don't want to mess with its torque curve. Uh, so, but what this is about is making a quick and easy adapter for that saw um, so that I can mount the uh, flywheel. No, not the flywheel. Jeez, the timing wheel. All right, anyways, so let's take a look at what I've done. All right, and here we have it. All right, if you don't have a welder, that's no big deal. Solder these together. You're not going to be putting mad pressure on it anyways. This was the original bolt that came off of the flywheel. Boop. Took that off. Took that into Ace Hardware. Figured out uh, what size it was. Oh shoot, it might say it on there. No, it says something weird. Um, but it's, um, this right here, it's just a 10 millimeter. And it's a 1 1.00 thread pitch which probably means it is one thread per millimeter so anyways um that's it found what it was got a bolt got one two three nuts for it and look at that that cleaned up really nice so now let's go ahead and attach it real quick all right Oh, who's your uncle? Bob. Bob's your uncle. Ugh. Now, if I wasn't holding the camera with one end, one hand, I might want to actually put a little bit of gumption on there with a wrench. But uh, I could do that. Now we take the degree wheel. Now I will say I have the wrong degree wheel here. This is for a V8. <laughs> and the hole in the center is no good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, take this other washer and nut and pinch this. I'll try and get it as centered as I can. It looks like it's going to be pretty easy because all I have to do is line it up with that right there. And again, I'll get back to you. Okay, there you have it. That went on easy peasy. All right, didn't have to take off flywheel nothing cost me four dollars and something little trip to ace hardware like i said again you know if you don't have a um welder just just solder those together um it's not a big deal if if you don't have solder jb weld those things together it's not a big deal everybody i don't know I, it's gonna be me it's gonna be me rambling and 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 talking like an a-hole so many people don't use their their brains they think you have to have something made very professionally and nice and stuff like that can be nice if you're doing this all the time guys by all means do it i'm not i'm not talking bad about that but you know there's a lot of ways to make something good very simple and um like i see a lot of people using the um the drill bit uh, chuck, you know, the chuck on a drill bit, that's fine and dandy, but whenever you're using that, I would think that if you tightened it up at all, you would uh, stand the chance of possibly uh, marring your threads on your crankshaft. I don't want to do that. Plus, it would be pretty hard to get back there and tighten it up. So anyways, this was what I came up with really quick this is by far this is uh this is completely my design uh-huh but if you want to use it you go right ahead big fella all right so all i've done here i've set up i've got some annealed wire and i'm going to use that as my pointer now in order to get this thing set up properly whenever i find top dead center i'll have to loosen up this nut back here and turn 
this degree well in the direction that it needs to go so that I can easily put top dead center right there on my pointer. So, uh, but anyways, this is it. I hope you learned something from this video. Now I've got to actually go ahead and get some uh, uh, footage of seeing what the ports are like and everything. So we'll compare the two cylinders. See ya.